Hello and welcome to the Lou Review. I'm your host, Rosa Hart, and today I have a very special guest, Bobby Paisley. Now, not to be confused with Brad Paisley, no, right? No, no. I, wish, that, I is, wish. Yeah. <laughs> would you, I could only be so lucky. But you are from Nashville. I am. How I about am. that? No relation. We don't know each other. <laughs> well, thank you for being here today, Bobby. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. So today you're representing the Brain Injury Alliance of Kentucky. I am. Now, can you tell us some about what the Brain Injury Alliance of Kentucky is? Absolutely. I am uh, I'm the new executive director. I started in uh, late November. Oh, okay. So I'm getting uh, still getting my sea legs, but we are a nonprofit organization dedicated to increasing public awareness, support, and providing hope for those affected by brain injury. That is a mouthful. Now, it is, is a that mouthful. a national organization or is this just local? We are a statewide organization. We actually uh, work just with Kentuckians. Okay. Uh, uh, I think this is an interesting statistic, and I didn't know this before I came on board, mm-hmm. but uh, Kentucky has about 35,000 people that are affected by brain injury each year, which is roughly double the national average. Oh, my. And brain injury occurs suddenly without warning, and it typically devastates unprepared families. And leads to a lot of disability. It can. It Mm -hmm. can. Uh, A lot of people recover. Yeah. Uh, Well, let's talk a little bit about what constitutes a brain injury. So, uh, what are some of the patients that you've encountered? You know, we've got... uh, a lot of the patients, and we work with uh, health care providers who mm-hmm. actually introduce us to their patients at injury onset, a lot of times before, before they even know we exist. Mm-hmm. And we complement medical treatment with services that help them navigate the difficult journey that they're going to be uh, faced with. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we see a myriad of different injuries. We see traumatic brain injuries that occur as the result, uh, and this is just what I have seen. Mm-hmm accidents, uh, falls, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, car accidents, motorcycle helmets, falls, uh, and a number of different things. Concussions Mm -hmm. uh, can cause a brain injury. Uh, We also work with people with uh, brain tumors as well Mm -hmm. as strokes. Mm -hmm. And you have a little bit of experience there yourself, correct? You know, I do have some experience with stroke patients, and Mm -hmm. that's actually how I first became aware of BIAC. So, I worked in the neuro ICU with uh, stroke patients, and we would get some patients with brain tumors as well. And mm-hmm. so, our uh, neuro—I was familiar with the neurosurgery team um, referring some people to BIAC, and I was thankful to learn about the caregiver support group because mm-hmm. that especially is something that um, a lot of people will have a stroke, for instance, mm-hmm. and need a lot of help, and the people in their family are all of a sudden caregivers and they need to learn how that works, but also that r- requires some uh, emotional support for them. It does. It does. And we, you know, we, we step in there for people and we connect people. You know, a lot of times, like you said, people are thrown into being a caregiver. They've never done it before. They don't know what to do or where to start. Mm-hmm. And we do have a support group for that. And we're also, you know, we're also able to connect them with other caregivers and get them resources to get them educated to a point where they can comfortably do that because it is mm-hmm. a big adjustment. Yeah. And they might not know where to go for help. And there are other state programs that provide like waivers to help um, them get a paid personal caregivers, right? There are, yeah. We uh, One of the things that we've done at the Brain Injury Alliance, uh, a lot of this was before my time, but, mm-hmm. you know, we were instrumental in establishing the brain injury waivers. The uh, the TBI trust fund that you said you had referred people to, uh-huh. uh, yeah. sports concussion protocols, return to classroom protocols, and we're currently interacting with the judicial system to help them cope with a brain injury pop- population they have that's Estimated by the CDC to be between 25 and 87 percent. What do you mean that, like, injuries that occur in jail? Is that what, no, you're, ta- what are you talking no, about? No, a lot of people that go through the court system mm-hmm. uh, that are repeat offenders, mm-hmm. it has been identified that they have suffered a brain injury. Okay. And it can cause things like, for example, them to miss court dates repeatedly. Ah, uh, yes. And we're working to try to. Uh, evaluate, put a a program or a system in place, and it's still in the infancy stages, but to evaluate those people and get them the necessary resources. And 
accommodations, you know, where, where they're able to make their court dates and things like that. So it's like not, where they would hypothetically have a caseworker who would help make sure they get there? Potentially. Like if their memory was impacted by their brain injury? Potentially, yes. And, it, you know, I always tell people we're not looking for a get-out-of-jail-free card. Mm-hmm. We're just looking to assist people. Get to court to find out yeah, card? That's cognitive, <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we just want to help people. If, if their cognitive function has been yeah. impaired, we want to provide some resources for them where they can function like anybody else. Yeah. and So some, we're excited about yeah. that. And sometimes you need some help along the way to get there. So Absolutely. That well, uh, so right now, as we're recording, it's April, mm-hmm. and so BIAC has an exciting event coming up. Do you want to tell us about I that? I would love to. Uh, Saturday, May 13th, at Tom Sawyer Park, we're having our run, walk, and roll. It will be a 5K race, Okay. a one-mile walk and roll for brain health. Mm-hmm. It uh, What's different about this year is uh, typically we've just done a walk in the past, and this year we've added a 5K to it to try oh. to broaden our base. How long was the walk before? A one-mile walk. Okay. Yeah. It's a one-mile walk and roll, so if you're in a wheelchair, you can participate as well. And you uh, said that's in the parking lot at Tom Sawyer? Yes, it's in the parking lot at Tom Sawyer. The one-mile walk and roll is. And then the so 5K. it's paved where they can roll their wheelchairs? Absolute, or absolutely. Can they and use scooters? Are those allowed? That's a great question. I don't know the answer to that My question. kids would want to know the answer I would to say this yes. question. I'm just gonna, I would want I'm them just, to get steps. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I don't <laughs> okay, know. But we'll right. say yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and uh, it'll be a 5K run. that will be done at Sawyer as well. Mm-hmm. Uh we're going to have a DJ, we're going to have inflatables, food trucks, festivities, oh. games, prizes, awards, and much, much more. We that expect it to fun. be a, a big blowout. Uh, we look forward to raising <laughs> awareness. Uh, we expect a huge crowd, you know, potentially a thousand plus people. Response to this point has been overwhelming. Something else we're going to do. Mm-hmm. One of the things we do at the Brain Injury Alliance to prevent brain injuries is mm-hmm. we provide bicycle helmets to children. Oh, and, that's so uh, nice. And we're actually going to give away 200 bicycle helmets at the event. Whoa, yeah. that's amazing. Do you get a big sponsor for that? Uh, we oh. actually are bearing the cost of that. Whoa, okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's an amazing gift. Yeah, we're excited about that. One of our, uh, Donna Brothers is one of our board members, which mm-hmm. I'm sure you're familiar with Donna. She is. Uh, she was a longtime jockey, one of the winningest female jockeys of all time. The and winningest. She, yes, and <laughs> she is. A, I don't even know if winningness is a word. I think, but I'll is. use it. It definitely is. I've heard it attributed to a man before. Mm-hmm. So if she is the it girl, Donna that's Barton Brothers Donna is her Barton. name, and she is a big supporter of ours. And she actually uh, suggested that I hadn't even thought of it, and I thought, well, what a great yeah. idea! We'll give away some helmets, help prevent some injuries, at the same time raising awareness. So it works. Excited about it. Oh, that is so kind. I absolutely love it. And so you do a walk or run, walk, and roll every year in the spring before Derby uh, or after Derby? Yes. Uh, well, in the past, it's just been a walk. Mm-hmm. But again, this year, we're adding that 5K to mm-hmm. it, and we expect to do that in the future. So yeah. we're excited about it. And you said you can accommodate like a 1,000 people there? We can, yeah, okay. absolutely. And it, right. it's Saturday, May 13th at Tom Sawyer Park, and you can actually register. You can pre-register for the event mm-hmm. at biak.us. Mm-hmm. Again, it's B-I-A-K dot U-S. And there's a price difference if you register in a certain amount of time, right? There is. It's $25 now, and then at the end of April, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as yeah. of May 1st, they have right. to pay Right, as of May 1st, $35. it becomes 35 Yep, so there you, you get a discount if you register now. Mm-hmm. Something else a lot of people are doing, which I would encourage people to do, is a lot of people are setting up teams. And oh, yeah. uh, they get their own T-shirts. And we've got, to this point, we've got about 30 teams Oh wow! that have registered. So we're it's excited about that. It's not even the middle of April, and you've got 30 teams. I know, That's I know. Great. And, we'll, you know, we'll give some, uh, some prizes out for best team, you know, best Aww. team T-shirt. Uh, I think we're still working on what those are going to be, but we're mm-hmm. excited about that. So a ton of teams, ton of participation. Uh, and, again, the main objective is to raise awareness, and I think we're going to, mm-hmm. you know, we're really going to be able to do that. Yeah, definitely. So... I love the big umbrella that BIAC encompasses because you've got your traumatic brain injuries from mm-hmm. um, incidents, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have brain tumors, which we are do. more of a, those can grow on you. They can, they can. But then you also have stroke. We do. Which 
is another sudden thing, but it's a chronic issue that people need to, it changes your life once you've had a stroke. Absolutely. And even if you don't have any visible deficits, like that's the patient population that I have worked with the most as a nurse. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very thankful to have things like the TBI trust fund that gives financial assistance and, Absolutely. and case management, which is mm -hmm. a huge need because sometimes health insurances don't want to pay for what they're supposed to cover. And they sometimes don't. those case managers from the state have to be like, Hey, insurance company, ha, huh, you do. Right. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that gets things covered. But then also, um, you said you were in, BIAC was instrumental in creating the TBI trust fund. We were, we were, we were. So whose brilliant brainchild was it to get it funded by DUI fines? You know, I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. That is just like so... But it was a stroke of genius. It's a stroke yeah. of genius and justice, isn't and the, it? And they do. The TBI Trust Fund does a lot of great things. You know, if you yeah. need wheelchair access at your home and you exactly. can't afford that, they've got funds to help with that and a number mm -hmm. of different things. They've got great case managers and they do a mm -hmm. phenomenal job. Yeah. They actually will help families. Um, they don't give out like cash, but they uh, will pay for services mm -hmm. up to $15,000 a year for up to four years. So that's $60,000 per person. Yes. It's and, incredible. Yeah. And it's a huge resource. And so, and it's not income dependent at all. No. So thank you so much for helping to create create something that is such a rich resource for people who did not know to plan for this thing that just hit their Absolutely. family. Absolutely. We work hand in hand with them. And it can prevent so much burden on the family and because um, disability is a big cost to the whole system. It is. Yeah. As the family system as well as the state system. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So I really appreciate the work you guys are doing and the faithfulness, like, I know Eddie um, is the person at Bayek I've worked with the, with the most, and he's just been so faithful. So, shout out to Eddie. Yeah, he lo <laughs> he, he, he's great, and he cares, and he really loves people, and he's got a passion for working with individuals that have been affected by brain injury and their families. Yeah, definitely. You know, what drew me to uh, the Brain Injury Alliance is I was actually looking for a job, mm -hmm. and I had a friend that uh, recently passed away. Mm -hmm. But he had uh, three major brain surgeries, full brain radiation, and he actually received some resources and support from the Brain mm. Injury Alliance. And while I was looking for another yeah. position, that came across my screen when yeah. I was looking, and I thought, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, just fell in love with the mission. Oh, that is so meaningful, because you want to be part of something where you're doing something good, and you know that it's really happening, right? It's you don't want to just make promises. It's, no. It's, but you get to see it's actually I being do, delivered. I do. It's wonderful to be able to uh, make a difference, uh, mm -hmm. no matter how small that w may be. You know, selfishly, I find <laughs> that uh, when I'm able to help people, mm -hmm. I feel better. Yes. I think my motive is pure, but, well, uh, you know, what better position to be in when you can just actually, you know, my job is to help other people. So I love yes. it. It's, it's phenomenal. Oh, that is so wonderful, Bobby, and welcome to BIAC, since this is my first time meeting you, since Absolutely. you took the position as executive director. So, um, if someone is listening to this at a time of year when they can't go to a run, walk, and roll, what else does BIAC do throughout the year that people could get involved in or help with? Well, I guess, you know, first and foremost, if they need help, uh, they can... Uh, Access our website at biak.us. We have a number of resources on our website, or they can call us. Uh, you know, they can call me personally. Oh my. my number is 502-295-8257. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we want people to reach out, and that's what our website is designed to do, to mm -hmm. provide them just enough information to get them reach, to get them to reach out to us where we can provide them resources. Good. Okay. And then do you have any other, um, like, volunteer opportunities? Or? We do. We do. We have uh, we have people that approach us to get involved. We have several events throughout the year. We've got our run, walk, and roll we talked mm -hmm. about. We do a brain ball in Ooh, November. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Yeah, it's a, typically it's a derby theme. It's a <laughs> big bash derby mm -hmm. party to raise awareness uh, for brain health. But, yes, we do have opportunities uh, for people that are looking to get involved, whether, it, you know, maybe they've been a caregiver. We can put them in a uh, 
position to work with other caregivers. Like a mentor? Yeah, it could potentially mm -hmm. be a mentor. Uh, you know, we also have uh, events. Uh, you know, we do helmet giveaways throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, you know, people volunteer for those. Uh, there's okay. a number, you know, if someone is looking to get involved, we can, we can definitely put them in a place to do that. Well, that is fantastic. And you have social media as well that people can find you on? We do, yeah. We're on uh, Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn. And okay. I think we're on Twitter, although oh. I haven't done much with Twitter. <laughs> Might have to get it set to auto post That's from right. one of those yeah. others. <laughs> most, Keep it active. Most definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, you guys have been hearing from Bobby Paisley and um, from the Brain Injury Alliance of Kentucky, also known as BIAC. So check them out. And if you are listening at a time when you can come to the Run, Walk, and Roll, come check out that big party on May 13th. And I will see you in the next episode of the Lou Review Podcast. Thanks Bye. for having me. <laughs>